Hello again, I am Blunty. This is a Nintendo Switch. Of course it is. We all know it. We all love it, don't we? Yes. The answer is yes. There's nobody out there I've ever met who said, no, I don't like the Nintendo Switch. It's a bit, eh, isn't it? No. It's awesome. Fantastic. One of the best things Nintendo has ever done, right? Well, soon, in fact, within two weeks, they're releasing the Nintendo Switch Lite, which this is not. This is a 3D printed model of the Nintendo Switch Lite. Should I do a video comparing these two? I feel like I should. But this was sent to me because, uh, with the arrival of the Nintendo Switch Lite obviously means the arrival of Nintendo Switch Lite accessories because you can't have a gaming product without a ton of accessories and you certainly can't have a handheld portable gaming device without a bunch of accessories to make its portable life a little bit better and safer, more secure and less prone to um, damage. I feel safe in doing that because it's just a 3D printer. And amongst these first accessories for the Nintendo Switch Lite from Orsley include, of course, cases, screen protectors. Two kind of important things when you're dealing with a product that's designed to be portable, especially in the case of the Switch Lite, which has portability as its main and, in fact, only mode. At least with the regular Switch, uh, a lot of people I know barely ever use it handheld. They just leave it in the dock all the time. I know mine stays in the dock most of the time, except when I travel. Uh, but the Switch Lite, obviously different. Designed for pure handheld use, so screen protectors even more important. I've had a screen protector on my Switch since just after launch, when I almost immediately scratched uh, my screen, thanks to the issues with those first batches of docks that we had. Uh, fortunately for me, when I applied the screen protector, it kind of hid the scratch on my screen. It was off to the, off to the side. Uh, it wasn't actually on the bit of the screen that the LCD is behind. It was on the sort of surrounding bit, so it wasn't really a huge issue for me. Annoying, but not a huge issue. But uh, yeah, the sort of adhesive and refractive properties of a screen protector kind of actually hit that, hit that scratch. I can almost forget it's scratched these days. But yeah, getting a screen protector on your Nintendo Switch Lite is going to be job number one. Um, I don't care if you've never ever scratched a screen before. I don't care if you think oh, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Um, just, just put one on. They don't cost that much, and trust me, if and when the worst ever happens, you'll be glad you did. Now, in the case of this, they call it a lifetime pack. So they give you four of them in one pack. Uh, and that means, you know, if you do manage to, you know, scratch one, you can replace it easy enough. Or if you screw up the application of the first one, or even the second one, you've still got two more left. Uh, and if you've never put one of these on before, it can be a little bit intimidating. Pro tip, by the way, uh, do it in a, in a steamed up bathroom. Go to the bathroom, close the door, turn on your hot taps, let it steam up. That'll make all the dust in the room settle and uh, will sort of prevent sort of dust from getting, or help prevent, prevent dust settling under or on your screen, things like that. So these are, you know, pretty standard for all these screen protectors. And obviously with the 3D print one they supplied, I can't really apply it properly to show you, but I have actually put it on there because, you know, it, it helps the, the light glint off the thing and make it look a bit more like there's a screen there. I'll hold it up the right way. Um, so yeah, I, I can't really show you how these go on, not having a real screen to put them on, but like I said, these are basically exactly the same. In fact, not basically, they are exactly the same as the uh, older Aussie ones for the original Switch, except that they're cut to a different size, obviously, because different size screen. So I have full and absolute confidence in this. I have two uh, launch switches. Oh, I bought one really cheap when it was on Amazon Prime uh, last year. I couldn't resist. I've barely used the thing, but I guess impulse purchases. I'm, I'm terrible with money. Uh, but I have screen protectors on both those, and you can, I can guarantee you, if and when I do get a Switch Lite, I will absolutely, you know, as soon as it's out of the box, I'll be putting one of these on. Uh, but yeah, it comes with all the regular stuff. It comes with little screen cleaner things and a wipe and little dust stickers there so you can peel those off and go doop, 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 and pick up any stubborn dust that's on the screen and clean it off and apply it. It applies you know, exactly like any other screen protector you would expect would. So definitely, absolutely, 100% get yourself a screen protector. Uh, I don't care if it's an Aussie one, they're not sponsoring this video or anything, but I've used Aussie and I trust them. So served me well, no reason not to recommend them. Now then, carry cases. They've sent me four of them, one of which I've already unboxed. That one. We'll come back to that, but they also supply them because the Switch Lite itself comes in a bunch of different colors in a bunch of different colors here. So we've got kind of a navy blue one here, it looks like. No, it's gray. It's a charcoal gray next to the black. Hmm, which one do I like better? I kind of like the charcoal gray one. Kind of like that. So let's get that box out of the way. All right, little product catalog thing there. What should we do next? Real up. I can't, you know, if I get a Nintendo Switch light. I think I might get the yellow one. 
I, I'm going to wait to see it in person, maybe see if it's as glorious yellow as the yellow Joy-Cons they released for, what was it, Splatoon? I think it was Splatoon, the yellow ones. Love those. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty nice yellow. Move that out of the way. And finally, this little sort of baby blue kind of one. What would you call that? Teal? It's kind of a teal-ish. All right, so let's get those over there. And now this one, here's one I've prepared earlier. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's much like every other, uh, well, similar to every other sort of case you've got out there for Nintendo Switch. It makes sense to do it a certain way, so I've done it a certain way here as well. So we open it up, and inside you've got your little cavity there for the Nintendo Switch. And this is why they sent me the 3D print, by the way, so, they can, so I can do this and show you how well it's going in. Oh, the screen protector is going skewy. It's not sticking to the plastic of the 3D print properly. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's why they help, helpfully sent me the 3D print of the Nintendo Switch Lite, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, see, it fits in there nice and snug, held down by the little straps here. The little flappy do here, it's got soft material on the back here, which when it closes, covers up the screen, of course. Well, it does when it's folded. Uh, on the back of that, you've got your little caddies for your game cartridges. I don't know how often these are going to be used. I don't know about you guys, but I've been buying more and more of my Switch games digitally. I didn't think I was going to do that. I've always been a physical media kind of guy, but the convenience of having just a bunch of games on the Switch wherever I'm going, not having to carry these around, I kind of like it, but it's still nice to have these if you're the kind of person who still does like, uh, you know, physical media or just gives a few of your things on physical media. As you can see, <laughs> they hold them quite securely. I have to work to get them out again. There we go. So they're not going to flip out on you accidentally by the looks of things. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, over on the top half here, you've got your standard little zippy do pouch for you know itty bitty stuff that might sort of accidentally fall out you don't want to lose headphone adapters and whatnot i don't know uh zip and on the back behind that zippy pouch you've got a little another little pouch back here for you know your backup battery and uh headphone and cables and usb cables and whatever uh other bits and pieces you might want to take with you uh so yeah everything you need when you're traveling with your switch really which switch light i should say so there what do you reckon orsley where's the box I don't know they call these things exactly. These are the Orgily, you know, just, it's, 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 it's pretty, I thought there was going to be a kind of a cool name, but no, I forgot. It's just called Switch Light Carry Case from Orsley. Um, and yeah, of course, it's the sort of semi-rigid hard case kind of thing. So it will put up with a bunch of impacts and stuff if you knock it about. Got a handle up there, of course, which is, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strong. I think I heard a stitch pop there, but I really did wrench on that. Yeah, I popped a stitch. That's not bad for the amount of force I just put on that thing. <laughs> it's not designed for that. It's just designed to carry around. So what do you reckon, guys? You, you, you gonna get one? I mean, you, you know what? The more I look at the yellow one, the more I like the yellow one. I was gonna use the black one, but I think I'm gonna go the yellow one. I gotta, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You have to imagine bright color like that might get dirty faster. Oh, comments in the down below, hey guys. Which one are you gonna get? <laughs> This is the face I pull when I'm trying to do a thumbnail. Because emotional faces and thumbnails are the only way to get people to click on your video, apparently. I'll pick one of those.